In this video, I'm going to solve some problems on instantaneous rate of change. So here's our formula. And a good way to, to solve these problems is to obtain all of the components you need. So we have our our f of x, so this here. So we need to find our f x plus h. So the way you do that is you just change this x into x plus h so it will be x plus h squared and that is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared so now we have our f of x and our f of x plus h and h is just a so we can just plug in the values in the formula f prime of x is going to be the limit when h goes to 0 this will be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus uh, x squared over h so this x squared will go with this x squared and we will have 2x h plus h squared over h that is the same as we can simplify that into h parenthesis 2x plus h over h so this will take out this and right after you cannot do anything so we cannot simplify this anymore you will say that this h goes to zero because of the limit and the the value is 2x so when you when you're trying to solve a derivative of of x squared it will be 2x of course when it's with respect to x so that that's our first problem i'm going to solve two more this is our second problem and like we did before we want to find our f of x plus h and that is you just change the x into x plus h so this will be 7 times x plus h plus 3 so we plug it into our formula limit when h goes to 0 of 7 x plus h remember to put the parenthesis plus 3 minus parenthesis 7 x plus 3 over h so this will be after everything f x limit when h equals to 0 7 x plus 7 h plus 3 minus 7 x minus 3 over h so this goes with this this goes with this and we have 7 h over h I'll do that in the next page of 7 h over h this goes with this this so we simply have 7 that's it I will do one more this is a a, a simple one as before f x plus h let me fix this it's going to be 11 too because we have no x so it's going to be the same and then just by plugging it in the formula limit h equals 0 we're going to have 11 minus 11 over h this is 0 and that's our answer so whenever you're trying to get the derivative or the instantaneous rate of change of simply a number you will always get zero so don't let that confuse you and 
as as with pretty much everything practice makes it easier uh, if you found the video helpful like it and share it with your friends